Ready? Continue. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to First Baptist Church. Before I meet, Thursday night service. Pastor Reverend Carl Three Jr. My name is Deacon Cofield. I'm going to start with a, with a, with a devotion here this evening. God is the answer. God is the answer, really, all the time. God is the answer. Oh, God is the answer. Mm -hmm. God is the answer in times of need. God is the answer. Oh, God is the answer. I say, God is the answer. In times of need, one day I was burdened, my mind was ill at ease. I was searching for an answer, and I heard it in the tree, and it whispered to me, God is the answer, Lord, God is the answer, I said. God is the answer in times of need. Oh, God is the answer. Lord, God is the answer. I say, God is the answer in times of need. He prospers and protect me. Everywhere I go, just when I need him most, he makes the blessing flow. I'm so glad I know that God is the answer. Lord, God is the answer. I say, God is the answer in time for me. Oh, God is the answer, Lord, God is the answer. I say, God is the answer in times of need. Amen, amen. God is the answer in times of need. All time. We have our scripture reading this evening. Oh, Sister Lindsay. Verse 28. Okay. And we know that God calls everything to work together for the good of those who <laughs> love God and are called according to his purpose for them. May God have a blessing to the reader and doing his holy word. Amen, amen, amen. I'd like to thank you for that. Just have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this evening saying thank you, Lord. Thank you for, lying, for our lying down last night and our waking up this morning, Father. So we thank you for your grace and your mercy, Father, for we didn't have to, but you saw fit that we did, Father. So I'm saying we thank you for that, Father. Father, we want to thank you for our church home, Father. Thank our, thank for our pastor, Father. Thank you for our, all the members, Father. Thank you for our youth, our elderly, Father. We ask you to bless each and every one, Father. Keep us on that band, on that prayer band. Keep us on that pathway. Keep us just serving and doing the things that you want us to do that's pleasing within your sight, Father. Father, yes, you bless this community as a whole, too, Father. But also, Father, give us the wisdom to, to talk to someone about you. Let them know that you still are con in control and that you are the answer to everything. All we have to do is come before you with praises. Come before you and let you know. You said, if anything, we need, Father. We we're just asking your name, Father. So we ask it, Father, for a blessing upon our community, a blessing upon each and every member of our church, Father. And a blessing upon our youth, Father. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I thank you all for that being here. Like I said, it wouldn't be a prayer band without you. Visit uh, virtual or present here. Uh, the prayer band is to me is very important. It's to where we where we get out. Some some strength from really from hearing what what he had done to others and some 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 kind of just belief. Well, he can do it for you. I know he can do it for me, and that is so true. You know, he can do it for each and every one of us. All we gotta do is ask in his name, and he will do it. 
So with that, we're going to turn over to you to prayer band for a song, testimony, scripture, prayer, or whatever. Prayer band. Any, anyone? Right? Oh, go ahead. I, I didn't see. I'm, I wasn't looking. Uh, mute. God okay. bless you. All right. God bless you. Good evening to each and every one of you, giving honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. They nailed him to the cross. They nailed him to the cross. They nailed him to the cross for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. He bowed his head and died. He bowed his head and died. He bowed his head and died for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. They pierced him in the side. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side for me. One day when I was lost, he died up on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for you and me. One day when I was lost, he died up on the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Amen. One thing that is so wonderful, Jesus is the same today as he was yesterday. And he will be the same tomorrow and forevermore, which lets us know that regardless as to what happens in this world, the power in the blood of, of Christ never fails and it doesn't change. Our situations change, our conditions change, our circumstances may seem to change, but Jesus is still the same. And I'm so grateful for that right now because I feel even in myself, I'm not what I used to be. And in some instances, and that's a good thing, but Jesus, the same Jesus that I knew 20 years ago is the same Jesus that will be in the future. And so I say that, um, because I'm finding encouragement in that um, there are some, some, some dark days that are to come. We don't know when they're coming. There's some difficult situations that are going to arise, but let us remember that it's the blood that, that saves us. It's not, it's not any vaccine. It's not anything that we wear. The vaccine is great, but it can't save our souls. Masks are great because they help to protect one another but we still have to be, be mindful of our souls. So let us be prayerful for those right now also who are, in, who are enduring some difficulties with, with the virus right now. Um, I'm very concerned about it. And I don't mean to alarm the church, but if you've been watching the news or listening to the news, it's almost like the media has done uh, a 180 a few weeks ago it was almost like there was a celebration that the pandemic is about over. And now some folks might even believe that the worst is yet to come. It depends on who you talk to. That's why it's important to remember the blood, the blood that gives us strength from day to day 
it shall never, never lose its power. So let us be encouraged with that. And I'd like to thank you for your prayers and for your presence tonight. Thank you, Chairman, for the work that you do. Uh, I'd like to thank Sister Williams also, who's doing a fantastic, marvelous job. She and the other uh, folks who are part of the media ministry and those who might be watching, we thank you for your prayers and your contributions to the furtherance of the development of God's kingdom. So I'll have to leave early. Uh, my mom was trying to connect. She's on her way uh, to either St. Louis or, or Ohio. Uh, she had a, a cousin, I believe, who passed away. So I'll be leaving early because I need to go get her car. <laughs> but in any event, thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Church. God bless you. Love you all. Be the same yesterday, be the same today, and be the same tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Yeah. Good evening, Prayer Band. I'm thankful for being here tonight. Uh, God is good. And I just thank for protecting us each and every day. Um, my husband went through another uh, sickness where he had the worst cold, and now he um, is he coming around. He still got the cold. But he won't sit still until when he do sit still, he sleep all the time. And he got me sleep. Well, I'm sleeping the same, so I'm putting it on the, on something. But anyway, God is good. He keep us moving and keep us going. And uh, and I had talked to my son. The, uh, well, I talked to him almost every day. And today we sitting up there sleep and. And he came in the house, surprised us from, from Georgia. He had told his friend to pick him up at the airport. He was going to surprise us. I said, you got a surprise. He had to come home, and we had to go to Burger King to eat. And <laughs> I said, you got to let me know. I had to have cooked something. <laughs> but, but I've been having a problem uh, waiting on the stove. So, I, you know. It, but anyway, I'm glad Burger King was uh, able, we was able to go and get something to eat, you know, anyway. so. I just thank God because each and every day he's looking out of, out and he watching over us and keeping us each and safe, you know, because there's so much going on now. And as I get older, I don't feel good at hearing getting bad and everything else. But you look and you see all the good things God doing for us and everybody else until you, you just can't complain. You just have to say thank you, Jesus, because you are so good, you know. So I just want, like I said, a short prayer. Father, we just thank you for tonight. Thank you for every day. Father, we just ask that each and every one do what they're supposed to do and do it how you want us to do. And Father, I just thank you for this church family that keep me going, they call and check on me. And that's a big help, you know. So I just thank you, Father. and. Uh, Bless the bereaved tonight, Father. Help them what they're going through and whatever we have to go through. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yeah, we 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 be glad to see you. Miss you on prayer meeting tonight. I miss that Walter sign at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we be always talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. B. I was seeing my bird came in reporting now back when that summer. They built it with the fellas before I go. Go through that and grab my stuff on, on the way to play golf. Maybe up there. Maybe the cable. Oh, 93 on the balcony. Good morning. Yep. Good night. Get together. That's fine. And I see I was muted. I hope y'all got my, could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> you were good? Okay, good. Because I didn't, I didn't know you had knocked it off again. I could keep it on. Huh? 493. 493. All right. On the battlefield for my Lord. Uh, I can't so well. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise him that I 
I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I was a lonely idol and I was a sinner too. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, there is work to do. And I took the master's hand and I joined the Christian band and I'm on the battlefield for my Lord right now. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise him that I I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I, I left my friends and kindred bound for the promised land. The grace of God upon me, the Bible in my hand. In distant land I tried. The crying sinner come to God. I am on the battlefield for my Lord right now. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. And I promise him that I I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Now, when I met my Savior, I met him with a smile. The heal my wounded spirit and on me as his child. Around the throne of grace, he appoint my soul a place. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise him that I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. And it is a battlefield out there. That devil's running to and fro. He's trying to seek who he can devour. And that's what he said. Yes, yeah, so we fighting against not just just not just get spirits in high places. I mean, we are fighting against spirits in high places and in municipalities. But we, hey, that devil is out there. We just got to keep on this fight. All right, anyone got anything else? Two, start with the third verse. God blesses those who realize their need for him. For the kingdom of heaven is given to them. God blesses those who mourn. For they will be comforted. God blesses those who are gentle and lowly, for the whole earth will belong to them. God blesses those who are hungry and thirst for, for justice, for they will receive it in full. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. God blesses those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. God blesses those who are persecuted because they live for God, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. And I, that's a good thing to remember, mm -hmm. because no matter what we may go through, if we know that God's in control, mm -hmm. we don't see as bad as it really is, mm -hmm. because we focus on him. And I know today we was, uh, we was driving to meet one of Tina's friends <clears throat> who she hadn't seen in uh, about a year. 
And this guy, oh, he called you know at four o'clock. Right, right. It's work traffic. There's a cement hauler. He blows behind Tina like, all oh, those traffic are invisible and we just sitting there. Mm -hmm. He almost clipped a van trying to get in front of the cement hauler because he went in the turn light. So when the light, and the light was red. Mm -hmm. So when the light turned green, the cement hauler just hit his horn because he wasn't moving. Right. You in such a hurt, then I can't really go nowhere. Right. Where are you going? Nowhere. nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and sometimes we just need to slow down. And like my grandfather said, and smell the coffee. Right. Because we miss a lot because we in such a rush to get everywhere. When you slow down, you realize just how blessed you truly are. You know, and I'm thankful for just life itself. Mm -hmm. You know, because without, you know, you have to have pain sometimes to realize just how good God is. Mm -hmm. Because he helped you get over it. And just move on mm -hmm. and do what you have to do. So we just need to take time to be thankful for what we have and not be in such a rush. Just slow down and take, you know, just take a deep breath and just be at peace, you know? And I thank you for, I thank the Lord for peace. There you go, that's right, thank you. Yes. Guess what, they're gonna be getting slower yet because they're gonna be closing that down. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get a letter in the mail? It's 16th, I think it is, yeah. And it's gonna be down for three weeks uh, better or maybe a little bit less, depends on how fast. So they're gonna have us going all around, finding around the other way to get back that direction or back out 275 way, but they work on 275 too. But you are so true. So therefore we will go to God never fails. How's that? 239. Yeah, book. All set. God never fails. God never fails. He abide in me. He gave me victory. No, God never fails. Just keep the faith and never cease to pray. Just walk upright, calling noon, day and night. He'll be there, he'll be there. There's no need to worry, for God never fails. I never worry, I never fret. For God Almighty has never failed me yet. Though a rebook is gone, I know I've been reborn. For God never fails. Mm. God never fails. God never fails. He abide in me. He give me victory. No God never fail just keep the faith and never cease to pray just walk up right call the noon day or night he'll be there he'll be there there's no need to worry for god never fail no need to cry i'm not afraid to die i got my lord i know He's on my side. Daily I trust him. Never shall I doubt him. For God never fails. Oh, God never fails. God never fails. He abide in me. He give me victory. No, God never fails. The, the faith and never cease to pray. Just walk upright, calling noonday, and then he'll be there, he'll be there. There's no need to worry, for God never fails. <coughs> Excuse me, nope, he never fails. So I got to put him in the front, not in the back, not on the side, but in the front. Point man, we want to follow him. Follow his lead. 
because he never fails. You know, we also have pray for our bereaved families, pray for our people that's out of town family. In fact, I got one <laughs> she got left today, none of the kids going up north because Anthony, no, Andrew is getting married this, this Saturday. Unfortunately, we are not able to go. He wants us to go with him, so he brought the motor home out. So we, I said, she can't get up in that motor home. She can't ride up there in Ann Arbor. So that's too far to be going way up north. So anyway, we're here. They gone. Line is here at the house, so I can come for a meeting tonight. But he'll be taking off tomorrow, heading up that way. I said, "Well, bless him." So that's all we can say. So we're gonna do a little short prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Father, we ask, Father, we ask you to bless our bereaved Father, bless the Nelson family, Stewart family, Father. You know, Father, you say you never put on, on us no more than we can bear, Father. So we stand in on that promise, Father. And you never put more on us than we can bear, Father. So we ask you to bless them, Father. Bless the the the, the friends and the families that 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 know them, Father. Just keep us, help us to do the things that we need to help them with, Father. Bless our, our our families that moved us out of town, Father. Keep them safe. Let them go safe. Bring them back safe, Father. Let them have their time. Bless our Malcolm who's out of town, Father. So we got a few less out. So we ask you to bless all of them. Bring them back safe and sound, Father. You never fail, Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus, we pray. Amen. So we do. We thank him for that. We thank you again. Anyone got anything else? All right. Well, we're gonna move on. We're gonna call on what I had down here. Was well, two ninety eight? Just a little talk with Jesus. We have to have just a little talk with him. Sometimes in the morning, sometimes at noon time, sometimes at night time. But any time is a good time to talk with Jesus. I once was lost in sin. But Jesus took me in, and then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us know about our trouble. He will hear our prayer, and he will answer by and by. Now when you feel the little prayer will turn it, and you know the fire is burning, you will find a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. It makes it right. Sometime my passing dream without a ray of cheer and then a cloud doubt my hide the light of day and the mists of sin may rise at the starry sky but just a little talk with jesus clears the way now let us have a little talk with jesus let us tell him all about our trouble he will he, mm, 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 and he will answer mm, 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 mm. now when you feel the little prayer will turn and you know the mm, 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 mm. you will find a little talk with jesus makes it right it makes it right i may have doubt and fear my eyes be filled with tears but Jesus is the friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk. Jesus, let us tell him all about the trouble. He will hear out and he will answer by it. Now when you feel the prayer will turn it, and you know the earth is burning, you will find the talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it right. Amen.
Yeah, you get to have that talk with it. Like I said, morning time, noon time, evening time, in between time. But definitely all times. You got to have a talk with it. Definitely all times. Because, hey, it makes it right. It also makes you comfortable, too, when you get through talking with him and you, you seem like you have a little ease, a little peace come over you. Uh -huh. So, hey, that is so wonderful. All right, anyone else? Two two seven. Okay. Surrender all to Him. I freely give. I will ever love. And trust him in his presence daily. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all all to jesus i surrender humbly at his feet i bow worldly pleasures all forsaken take me jesus take me now I surrender all. I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. All to Jesus. I surrender. May me Savior, holy thine. Let me feel the Holy Spirit. Truly know that thou art mine. I, I surrender all. I, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. All to Jesus, I surrender. May me save myself to thee. Fill me with thy love and power let thy blessing fall on me i, I surrender all i surrender all all to thee my blessed savior i surrender they're all. Oh, I almost got mixed up on that one. You got anything, uh, Jackie? All right. Hey, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. That's right. All right. Oh. So. Just wanted to bid adieu. I've got to go, but okay. I thank you for blessing us with your testimonies. Thank you, Chairman, for all that you're doing. And I will see you. All right. You take care. Have, right. a, bit. Have a safe one. Talk thank to you, you. Okay. All right. Just moving right along. Moving right along. What's my dog? Let Jesus lead you. 
It's not in the book, but it's in, in, in my little book. We're going to let him lead us. 18. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you. Let Jesus lead you all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. And let Jesus lead you all the way. He led my mother. He led my mother. He led my mother all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He led my father. He led my father. He led my father all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He led the preacher. He led the preacher. He led the preacher all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He led the deacons. He led the deacons. He led the deacons all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader. He's a mighty good leader all the way, all the way from earth to heaven. Let Jesus lead you all the way. Amen. Amen. That's right. We got to let him lead you. Don't so see Jesus wouldn't lead that guy that's trying to run all over you out there. Mm -mm. Nope. And the thing about it is getting more and more of them out there that's getting impatience. The why? Nobody knows. They can't even tell you the whys. All they're just saying at that time, like just felt whatever they felt. So we just had to keep on, let Jesus lead us. We kept on doing what we do. And just keep on driving and keep on trusting. We had to just trust in the Lord. That is it. All right. Anyone got anything else? Brother Rock, you got anything over there? He just died. A long day. I understand that. I thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh, you brought me. Yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way. A mighty long way. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh, you brought me, yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. Mm. You've been my mother. You've been my father. You've been my sister, my brother too. Oh, you brought me, yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. You've been my mother, you've been my father, you've been my sister, my brother too. Oh, 
she brought me, yes, yeah, she brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. You've been my doctor, you've been my lawyer, you've been my preacher, my teacher too. Oh, you brought me, yes, yeah, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. You've been my doctor, you've been my lawyer, you've been my preacher, my teacher too. Oh, you brought me, yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way. That's why I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh, you brought me, yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Oh, you brought me, yes, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. Amen. Good. Good thanking for everything because he had. Hey, Amen. Great thanking because you thank him all the time. It's, yeah. See, if I had a thousand tongues, we, we couldn't thank him enough. Just think about that. A thousand. Wow. Our mouth would be mighty full. We had a thousand tongues in it, trying to thank it. We wouldn't be able to do it. There's one scripture said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavenly laden, and I will give you rest. So you got to do that. You know, you heavy laden, come in and give him your burden. He'll give you rest. And we thank you for that. But we just got to keep him up in the forefront. Like I said, he is that one and only. All right. Anyone? Anything? Wait. One, six, four. Six four. I have decided. Oh yes. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No, no, no turning back. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. Though no one join me, still I will follow. No turning back, no, no. No turning back, the world behind me, the cross, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back, no, no. No turning back. Amen. No turning back. I have decided to follow him. I'm sorry. Colette, were you getting ready? To... Oh, okay. I said, were well, you getting ready to say something? Thank God for continuously blessing me and my family, keeping me safe on the road. Amen. Nobody else can COVID where I work. Amen. I just, uh, I just don't have words. Like we said, a thousand times, but you can express it. Enough, that's the right. Joy, the peace that passes all understanding that I have when serving my Lord. Mm -hmm. I thank you every morning. Because the floor, yes, I thank him as I go along the way. I thank him when I'm not even thinking about thanking him. <laughs> because it could have turned out a whole lot different for us. Yeah. Uh, 
with the kids and everything, not paying no attention to the fact they can get sick because they think they're young mm -hmm. to, you know, somebody coming by my mother on um, one of the times going to the hospital, you never know. Sure. There might come, so God has protected us. Mm -hmm. And we thank him for it. We know it's not over. No. It hasn't, he hasn't done teaching us a lesson. I got it. <laughs> a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I guess we're waiting on the rest of our folks that he uh, has allowed to be on this earth to get the message mm -hmm. to uh, worship him and him only and to learn to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's just so hard when it must be the money that oh. makes everybody crazy. <laughs> that, uh, they would do their own self then on this earth. You know, no more water. I was listening to the news this morning that the city of California that has no more groundwater. Mm -hmm. They throw all the water in. They can't even flush a toilet. You have to use alcohol because there's no water. Mm -hmm. And the water they do have is fresh. So they even in the school have a silo that they can drain the water in and stuff. And so they can only pick up so much out of that and give to the resident of the restaurant. And the restaurant can even reuse their water. Oh boy, that's scary. It is. It's scary. But and what he's saying is that running and hiding up in the desert somewhere where there's no water. No water because of the desert. The desert is there because there's no water. So you want to build it and pump it in and take it from the Colorado River. He says, without all this crazy insane, learn to live together. That's all God is saying. Ain't it true? I mean, that's what I get out of it. You know, no, we, we, but we as a race of people cannot do it. You know, it's encouraging to see some of the Olympians, you know, helping each other and, you know, cheering each other. Yeah. Sharing the joy, sharing, you know, the, the triumph. Of uh -huh. the work they put into this one thing, uh -huh. and then they go home. Nobody even knows who they are. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> but this is one uh -huh. moment in time. But but to see charity uh -huh. at the time of the most selfishness uh -huh. is a great thing. I think. Uh -huh. So I I just I just pray that we'll get the message, and and God can stop putting these plagues upon us with the fire. And the hurricanes and the and the water that just won't stop coming in some places, mm -hmm. and then the lack of water in other places. Mm -hmm. But if you read the Bible, like our pastor tell us all the time, he said it's gonna happen. Right. It's gonna happen because we have it. Because we have it. Mm -hmm. You know, he said he said you need to stop driving so much. But now that carbon dioxide, because I made this mad play around the earth. So that we could breathe oxygen and it just don't go out of space. You can't make it to the bubble. It didn't happen by circumstance. I know it was a there's a God that created this earth because there's no place else in the universe that we know of that got anything close to it or ever had it. He kind of dig up rocks and Mars. And say that it's water yeah. and, and, and it's frozen now. Okay, we do. But <laughs> you know, we need we need to get it together. Yeah. We need to see, yeah, seek his face, do not and turn from our wicked ways, and he will heal our land mm -hmm. and forgive us of all our sins. And we can live in peace. Yes. It doesn't mean bad things won't happen, mm -hmm. but it does mean we'll learn to live in peace. Mm -hmm. People got to have a new understanding of what peace is. It's not how big a swimming pool can I have, mm -hmm. but if I can love one another yes. as he has loved us, mm -hmm. I have a place to sleep and I have food in my belly. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. to drink to mm -hmm. hydrate the way we make this body? That's all the peace I need. Mm -hmm. The rest of that stuff is just stuck. Mm -hmm. It's just going out of landfills. You go by it every day and can't knock it. That mountain trash is higher and higher and higher. I 
I can run down the little girl. And what, what? That was, it was up in um, 94 then, where they built that stuff. Uh, all that trash was getting high and high. And then they let it sit, and then it shrunk down, and then they built something on it, and they call it the hill. But it's a mountain of trash. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's what that's going to be. But it's with all the stuff that we just had the design, design in our hearts. Mm -hmm. And then we just got rid of it because it broke up. We don't want it. Mm -hmm. We need to turn that treasure thing that we got to have it, that one and one and one. I think that one and one and one. We got to turn it to the peace that has us all on the stage. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And to turn it. Somehow we got to trigger something. And I guess God is saying, if I beat him up enough, maybe we can wake up. Maybe they wake up. And they'll say, I don't need that. All that stuff in the basement, I don't need it anyway. <laughs> Let's not replace it. I'm not looking for FEMA to do that. Maybe you put some drywall in. But I have insurance. I'll just replace it with the insurance money. Just some drywall, right? right. Make it look, look like, like, you know, you don't still see the man. Well, but you don't have to have those things again. They're laying in the floor in the first place. Let's let it go on. Because you didn't clean up the basement. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know you did it. You know you did it. The only thing you might want, of course, is your washer and dry. But the rest of that stuff people cry on, getting on the TV about, stop desiring the thing that will not sustain you. We have to get back to the basic, basic, basic. And that is yeah, yeah. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, yes, yes. That whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. did not care to have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo. Mm -hmm. I just get so excited about the simplicity, the simplicity, the simplicity of life with Jesus Christ. And he'll give you the treasures of the heart. You just want to go to Hawaii, he'll give you that. But that will be the treasure of your heart. The treasure is going to be Jesus. Right. In Hawaii, you do. Right. Right. So we got to change how we look at it, though. We just got to change it. And then the rest of this stuff will just go away. I know. I know. If we remember who we are and what we're here for, and that is for his joy and his pleasure. <laughs> we didn't even know we existed. If somebody <laughs> hadn't changed at night, what, what? That's right. That's right. He provided you a parent for changing at night. And the see that you went to school. And the see that you ate. Well, that's what God does for us. He takes care of us. We just forgot who we were. The people that walk away from their parents and don't and don't call the bride or whatever. You forgot you can come back. Mm -hmm. Who first loved you? Mm -hmm. And as our Jesus, as the human race, it's the God who loved us, who loved us first, who knew ourselves. Yes. Before our parents knew who we were. Mm -hmm. It was God that loved us. We just got to remember. And I just think the joy, 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 joy in my heart. We have forgot our first love. Our first love is him. We have forgot that he will supply our needs and some of our wants. He said he will, he will supply our needs, but he didn't say we're going to do all at once, but he will supply some of our wants. And But we got to remember, we got to keep him first. Like I said, we got to keep him first in our life. And that is so true. Because, hey, you can hear it all over the place. They have forgot, you know. And it is a blessing when you see those athletes, how they was pulling for one another, country for country and all that. They was together. I mean, that's why I love watching them when they come in there together. Everybody just so happy and, and, and holding and, and just enjoying it. Even when the race is over, they still go and, 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 and hug, they, hug the ones that competed in the race. The one who moves on, the other that loses them, but they was in the race. They can say they were one. I was watching that uh, I was, as I was preparing for coming over this evening. They uh, play and I see, he I slipped his name, the one who, who won the gold medal in, in, in the golf match. Much as I love golf. I was one that said, who won it? 
they said he was up on the tee. They said everybody forgot about he just won a gold medal in, in the Olympics. Yeah. He back in the states. He you know, they don't, people don't forgot all about it. Yeah, but when he was over there, yeah, that was, was all help help right. You know, and and it's just one of them things. Uh, it, it, it's a shame when we when we when we get separated. That 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 I ain't gonna say hostility, but that evilness come in. I'm just gonna say evilness. That's all it is. It comes into play again. That 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 Trumpism come into play again. And all that stuff. So no, it's 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 it is. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's it's, it's terrible. You just gotta keep keeping in mind who's who's who we are. All right. Anyone else? Because we're running down. But I just want to make sure. Hi, how your friend doing? Now, does she pick up? She's doing good. I don't want to talk about my other friend. Okay. okay. Base is a success story about her and how she, my friend, I've known her for years. Yeah. She used to go to Mr. Lee's church. So basically, she was an abusive relationship with her husband and so like that. She finally broke free. She got on, she moved to Pennsylvania. She got everything straight. She got her kids straight. All two of the two of the kids are in college. And one kid is still here. She's living somewhere. And she got the baby boy with her. Okay. So she turned her whole life around. But that's why I got seen her today. And she looks happy. She looks joyful. So that's what my praise report. Yeah, yeah. We can do is pray for them, let them know, hey, that we love you. And we pray for you. That's, that's it. You know, yeah, just keep them going. It, it's, it's a shame when we get out there and, 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 and we forget. You know, we just can't forget. Definitely can't. All right. We're winding down now. And I like to say one thing. 324, just for a piece of it. Got to. <laughs> because what we just got through saying is we got to do that. Everybody know what 324 is, I know. <laughs> Sometimes the shadow gathers and mists obscure the way. Sometimes the crowd go heavy and darken all the day. How precious to remember our father's loving care you got to keep on believing <clears throat> god will answer prayer you got to keep on believing never despair though you be heavy laden and burdened down with care Remember, God still loves you, and he answers prayer. Sometimes the way is dreary, we seem to walk alone. Forget that the Father keep watch above his own. How mean is the sorrow, the fear. For God still loves his children, and he answers. Prayer. You got to keep on believing. God will answer prayer. You got to keep on believing. Never despair. Though you be heavy laden and burdened down with care, remember God still loves you and he answer prayer. Let's say that part. You got to keep on believing. <clears throat> God will answer prayer. You got to keep on believing. Never despair. Though you be heavy late and burdened down with care. Remember God still loves you and he answer prayer. Amen. <laughs> You know, and I love that song because it said he still loves you and he answered prayer. And that's what we've been saying all evening and all the time. We got to keep on believing that, hey, he'll pick us up when we fall down. He'll brush us off. He'll turn us around. 
if we're willing. That's the part, if we're willing. Sometimes you find them not willing. So ain't nothing gonna happen. They're gonna stay right where they're at. But if you're willing to do, and it, willing to say, hey, Lord, I'm sorry, I wanna come back home. That's all we got to do. So with that, I wanna say thank you for the, this evening. Prayer band, it's been a wonderful time. I always have one that when we come here and keep our breathed in our prayers. Again, keep our vacationers in our prayers. Keep them bringing them back safe and sound. And uh, Norma said, hello, keep her in our prayers. <laughs> Shala said, well, you got it for the rest of the week. So with they gone, I told Norma, I said, I don't know. I'm just going to have to leave you here. You and the dog. Because that dog keep 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 track of us. <laughs> Everybody know that Chico is all right. So, anyway. Just, uh, it wouldn't be a prayer band without you. And uh, and, with, and without you, it wouldn't be, we get a chance to get a chance to talk about the goodness of the Lord. So, that we have a prayer from, I don't know, I forgot who did it last week. Craig, did I get you last week? Yeah. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> 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 <laughs>